Hi guys and welcome back to another video. For today's video I had the pleasure to collaborate with Arteza once more. If you don't know already, Arteza is a creative group of people that provides good quality yet affordable art supplies. This time they sent me their expert colored pencils, metallic gouache paint and miniature brushes which I was very excited to try, but today I'm only going to be using Arteza metallic gouache paint and miniature brushes, while in the next video, which will be coming very soon, I'm going to review their expert colored pencils. At first I wanted to do one video using all the new supplies I received, but I figured out that it was best to separate the two mediums. And I'm going to tell you my honest opinion and my personal experience using Arteza metallic gouache paint and miniature brushes. About Arteza brushes, in this set of brushes for miniature and detailed works, you get 15 brushes including liner, round and spot brushes in different sizes. They all came with plastic covers to protect the brushes to be honest, I'm not a fan of white bristle because they get stained right away, but as you may know, I always use detailed brushes in my illustrations, so I was very curious to try them out and see their quality. I can tell that they are not bad quality by touching them. The bristles are soft and the hair aren't coming off, which is what usually happens with cheap brushes. But as you can see, a couple of hairs are sticking out, but the tips are nice and pointed. About Arteza gouache metallic paint, you get a nice selection of different common and colored metallic colors. On the tubes you get information such as opacity, pigment used and light fastness. I'm not going into details about the informations as I already did in my previous review video about Arteza gouache paint, which if you haven't watched yet, I will leave the link to my video in the description, so feel free to check it out. But I'm just going to say again that Arteza is rather good quality, but the light fast of this paint is a bit unsure, since on Arteza website you can't find their light fast rating scale, so Arteza gouache is a great set if you are starting with gouache and you want to do some practice. You can also use it for professional and artist works, but I would simply avoid selling original artworks if you use Arteza gouache. I swatched all the colors and I must say that they are not the shiniest colors, but they are definitely metallic colors. The bronze and gold have more shimmer compared to the other colors. On the tube it says they are all opaque, but to me some of them seems to be more transparent. But just saying, I don't know if these colors were intended to not have much shimmer, maybe that's how Arteza wanted this paint to look like. I swatched the metallic colors I have from other gouache brands, but also the fine tech purse colors I have which they are watercolors, not gouache colors. I won't make a comparison because I don't find it right to do one. They simply have different finish result. It's just to give you an idea about their differences and to show you how Arteza metallic gouache colors look like. As I was painting an illustration with these supplies, I noticed that the consistency of Arteza metallic gouache paint is more lumpy and sticky compared to their normal gouache that I reviewed last time. It was easy to dilute the paint with water and the consistency was better to work with, but the thin and more transparent layers don't exactly look nice and well painted, in my opinion at least, but they work fine when using them opaque with thick application of paint, but since the consistency is more lumpy when not diluted with water, the paint kind of sticked to the brush, which simply it was harder to paint fine details 
because I'm not going to lie, I struggle a little bit to lay down the colors when I wanted to paint the thin lines. They aren't as bad quality as more cheaper gouache, but definitely the consistency of Arteza metallic gouache colors is lower in quality compared to their normal gouache paint. Maybe it's because of the pigment use, but I don't know because compared to the metallic gouache paint from Winter and Newton and Royal Talents, the consistency is not lumpy and sticky as Arteza metallic gouache paint. For this painting, I also used Arteza gouache just to get a more variation of colors for my illustration and I painted this illustration on the Arteza cold press watercolor paper. About Arteza brushes, I tried the different miniature brushes, but I personally didn't enjoy using the spot ones, the ones with the shorter head tip, because it was very difficult to paint fine details, while I really enjoyed using the liner brush, the ones with the longer bristle, but also the round ones, because it was easier to paint thin lines and fine details. And just saying, unlike short tip, Long bristles hold more water and paint, so you don't have to reload the brush that often, and the brush can go a longer way, so that's why for me and my personal way of working, at least, it's easier to paint thin lines and fine details with liner and with long bristle brushes. I would say they are decent quality and they do the job, although I didn't like the spot ones, Overall, as I said, you get many detailed slash miniature brushes in different sizes for a reasonable price, but I can't say about their quality yet because I still have to see how the brushes will maintain their shape over a long period of time. But personally, I'm not sure if I would buy them again, mainly because they are white and I don't really like white bristle and I still prefer the liner brush I always use from Gerstecker because it kind of feels better in quality and somehow it absorbs better the paint too. But I think that if you don't have any small round and liner brushes, then it would be a good purchase because they are pretty affordable and they aren't cheap quality. But in case if you already have detailed brushes that you already like using, then I would suggest to keep using your brushes. Also about Arteza gouache metallic colors, they are also decent quality, not the worst, but not the best. But just saying, not many gouache brands offer colored metallic paint, but usually only silver, gold, copper and bronze. And I like the color selection from Arteza metallic gouache paint. By the way, I just wanted to say that this time I painted something simple. So it's not the best painting ever, I also didn't pay attention of light and contrast, background and foreground, but I hope you could still see the quality of Arteza paint and Arteza brushes. And yeah, that's it. If you have any question, feel free to comment down below and I will be happy to reply to you. Arteza was kind enough once more to give 10% off of discount when purchasing anything from their website, by using my personal code, you will find all the links to the products showed in the video, the link to Arteza website and the coupon code in the description. The links below are affiliate links. If you choose to buy anything through these links, I will get a small commission but at no additional cost to you. You are not obligated to use my links. But please consider using them if you'd like to support this channel and help me to create better content to share with you on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and for your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye!